All right, guys. Here we are. We got we're about to do our second top bar hive. We're gonna do like the traditional release type setup. We're gonna hand and clean and dump the bees. Um, bees came from Tate's. They got here uh, today at about six o'clock in the morning. They were uh, shook yesterday, probably around ten o'clock. They gave me a call. So this is Tate's uh, Winston Salem. Uh, it's the second package. First thing we're gonna do is we come up here. We're gonna spray them down. See a few bees from my other hive that we just did. Uh, spray them down real quick. Not gonna soak them, but we're gonna flat them good. I was told this is a better way of doing this, so we're gonna try. One to one syrup. Uh, suggestion was not really to beat up on the bees. Try not to. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get up here with loosen the staples on the queens. We got that. Now we're going to loosen this top so we can get them out. I got some helpers here from the other hive. They're not sure where to go either. These are uh, Italian hygienics and they're all covered with sugar shock right now. So. There's one. You want to hold him, Evan? Right here. I, All right. I like my bee friends. <laughs> this is uh, our first experience with bees, so what we're going to do now is we're going to work on getting this little sugar can out. Bobby too! first one came out real easy, so this one is no way this one will come out. But, looks like it's going to. So, so ooh, we got a dead bee. She got one down. One right here. Side, pull his queen out, shake her off, put the lid back on. Well, we upset a few in the process, but I guess that's going to happen. So, let's go ahead and just check this one out. We got a few friends on there, so what we got to do is, Evan, if you want to, go ahead, let's uh, open slots here uh, 3 through 10 for me. Go ahead. 3 through 10. Come on. Uh, what we're going to do is you see the candy in the top little cork there. We're going to take that out and uh, we got to check on this queen. Just go ahead and move them out of the way. Let's see. Like I said the suggested way of doing this was just to take a sheetrock screw screw it down in that cork pretty good and just gently pull it out and there you go that's probably not the best of the candy right there is in the tops exposing a little bit more than we like but should work see that red dot on the queen so we already saw the queen there Hold on. I'm gonna brush them off and uh, Looks like we got one dead attendant in there. Maybe, oh, we got two, three dead attendants in there. And one live queen. So you see it with the red dot? So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're going to hang it with the candy upright. That way the dead bees don't block the passage and the queen starves to death in there. So they're going to have to get her out pretty quick. But that hole is pretty open, so it looks like they'll get them out in a short period of time. She's ready to get out of there. But uh, just in case they're not happy with her, we're going to leave her in there. I'll check her in there tomorrow see how she's doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to hang it between bars two and three. I'm going to pin it up here in bar number two with the safety pin. I'm going to close that one back into place. And... Actually, I'm going to move it over just a little bit because I don't want her right in front of that hole getting cold tonight. So, I'm going to move over just a little bit. Alright. So, she's in there. She's playing her in breathe. She'll be good. Big enough hole here, Evan. I'm gonna have you put these back 
as soon as we uh, get all these in here. Then I'm going to set the cage in front of it, let the rest of them go in through the hole in the front. And I've already opened it up. It was just a little pork. Got some bees on my can still. They're hungry. I got some sugar syrup inside for them. We're still trying to get on there. Evan, go set that can over on the side for me. By the way, this uh, top bar hive, these top bar hives are up on my rooftop at that old flat top roof here. So, uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this. I'm just going to get a little bump here. Knock them down. Not really the best way to do it, but see, I'm knocking them down. Uh, got them all pretty much knocked to the bottom. They're coated with sugar syrup. Got the ones around it a little aggravated. I'm gonna take this, and this is what you really want to see, baby. I'm gonna do dumping them in. This is a little over 10,000 bees. I want to see them just piling up down in there. I think I made a few, man. The rest of them are probably happy to get out of the box. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this right here in front. Let them find a way home. And I'm going to get these bars set back in place. Before they figure out I'm the one that did all this. Uh, go ahead and start setting these back in place. Evan. They might want to come around so you can see us. Try and keep them in order here. You got five? No, you have five. Okay. Five. I'm going to take a picture of it before you put that one in, Evan. You, you cut it off? Mm-mm. You got six. I'm going to Alright, this, these bars right here we dipped with a little bit of beeswax up on top. So you can see we did that last night, just melted some old foundation and that's where we're at. So what we're gonna do, brush our bees down in here. This is where I gotta be careful here. Okay. I'm gonna set number 10 in place. Now, like I said, there's some sugar syrup in the inside there for them and a little bit of fondant for them to eat. Are you speaking about the hole? Yeah, they're trying to get out of that hole. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is where we're at right now. Bees are inside the hive. Should be good to go. Got a few girls swarming around right here on top. Fine right here on top. I'm gonna stuck, so she's good. We'll check on that queen tomorrow, next day, something mm -hmm. like that. So, we're good to go. That's the rest of our little bees working their way out. We'll find a way home. So, uh, actually, see some of them already coming out the hole there. Uh, I don't know if they were working their way in or if they're working their way out. But queens in there, they shouldn't go very far. So, uh, that's it guys, uh, April 23rd, 2013, Liam is inside or downstairs, Evan's up here giving me a hand, and Susan behind the camera, and I'm Will, and this is our two top bar house. Bye.